the second day of our sophisticated master bedroom build. And while Carmen and Chia head out to pick out some materials, me and the boys keep cranking away here at the house. And there's so many different choices. I, there is. So we're looking for the faux finish. Here we go. This is it right here. Cool. Perfect. We'll start out with the Bellagio effect. So what is the Bellagio so effect? I'm going to show you. It's a two-part process. So the undertone is just regular paint, and then the top tone is a glaze that has some little particles mixed in it. If we pick a dramatic color, it could look like stone. And if you go with the really lighter colors, it's almost like a subtle parchment paper on the wall. So we're going to go right in between. Absolutely. So I think for your room, I'd love to go with the Bellagio Faux with the off-white base color and the top color of the Genoa Port. Okay, no, that looks great. Cool. So it's going to be fresh, airy, a little bit of texture for your plain room. And this is going to tie back to that headboard that you're not quite visualizing yet, but when it all ties together, it'll be perfect. Okay. Cool? Cool. So I think we've got our color choices. And I think we're too short to reach <laughs> those, so... Excuse me. Hi. Can you help us a quick second here? Yeah, absolutely. We're a little short. We need one of these Bellagio gallons up here okay. and also one of these Venetian plasters. Okay, Just perfect. Me over to pick out. Awesome. Great. And we're only going to need one gallon of each because we're only doing one wall. Okay. And per gallon, you can average about 300 square feet. Okay? Love that. Bellagio yeah. and Venetian. Awesome. You grab the brochures. Okay. I got the paint can. And we're away we go. Okay. What we have here on the front corner is the compound miter cut. So you have it going this way and that direction. It kind of looks like crown molding it if does. you were to put it up on the ceiling, right? Right. And what that's going to do, it's going to give you that invisible effect for the base of your bed. So you won't even see the base. It'll look like it's levitating. Great. These side supports right here are actually going to be runners. They're going to support the drawer slides. That's where we're going to mount those on. Plus, it gives us a little bit more support from up above. Right. Perfect. All right. Looks good. Looks great. This is the paint. Okay, and it's really like a glaze. And then if you look at it, it has all those little particles in them. You see those little particles? Mm -hmm. First step, you're gonna dip in your brush and make sure that you're generously picking up all of those little particles, okay? Okay. Then you're gonna take your particles and you're gonna brush it on in X's. And it's real light. There you go, that's exactly it. Okay. This is step number two. We're going to take our curved corner trowel, and all we're going to do is pull it back in X's. See how it kind of looks like a little bit of stone, a little bit of texture? Turns that plaster into another effect. That looks really neat. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. We've built the base frame for the bed. Right. Now we're moving on to the drawers. The key to doing this is this apparatus right here known as a pocket hole jig. Okay. And this bit plunges out a hole to a specific depth and then we're going to have our pocket holes. And then I've got a pocket hole clamp. See that little tip right there? Yes. It goes right down into the pocket hole like this. That's pretty cool. We will take this. That is a pocket hole screw. That's going to seat down into our pocket hole, suck everything together. Perfect. All right, so the last thing we have to do is put on the drawer bottom. Just slide it down in the channel here. All right. And we have a nice fit. So what we're looking at is the back of the mantle, and we have this nice channel right here that'll take us all the way through, which is going to be great to hide all your wiring. So I'm going to give you this. And what is this? This is a hole saw. Well, this is a drill, okay. but this is a hole saw. You're just going to put your drill bit into that hole. Yeah, there you go. We got one more hole on this side. Okay. Perfect. All right. So now All we right. have our entry hole and our exit hole. Now we just grab our pieces of ABS. I've already cut them to size. I always like to dry fit things because if we glue them all together and we're wrong, then we're going to have to cut them. And once the pipes are in, Marcus shows Danny an easy way to pull the cables through. So the little trick is if you have string at home, which most people do, right? Perfect. We'll grab that. If you want to take the vacuum end on your side, All right. over there, we're just going to vacuum right through the tube. So I'm going to start it. 
can see the string come out. Yeah. Perfect. Next, they just tie the media cable to the string and pull it through the pipe. And there you have it. Now all we have to do is glue it in place and then mount your mantle. Awesome. Let's get on it. Next, I promised you a top secret material that was going to allow us to hide your TV. This is going to blow your mind. Plus, I'm going to have to be honest, we've never done this before. Oh, it doesn't fit. And later. I can't even, I don't even have the right words. 